long string of riders, 20 in there. There is Glenn O'Shea of Australia. Fourth World Championships for him. I'm told he lapped the field eight times in the National Championships in the points race. On a night, uh, on a, a day of uh, where there wasn't, it wasn't where there wasn't a good field in the race. He was just uh, head and shoulders above everybody. So seven riders have got 20 points, and now Scully leads this points race with an advantage of eight points because of the numbers he's been picking up along the way. So Scully of New Zealand leads, Avia of Colombia in second. Reinhardt of Germany is also in equal second place with 25, and Savicki of Russia is in fourth place. The leader of this points race now is from New Zealand, and he is Tom Scully of the Madison Genesis team from Great Britain. So whilst those two riders are dangling off the back trying to get the lap, Avia of Colombia has gone smashing his way off the front of the peloton and is now trying to put himself in with a chance of winning this points race. So he's got 25 points and he's now gone on the attack. Terrell senses that this is an important moment and he's desperately trying to shut the gap. Uh, Kenny Di Catelli of Belgium, there is Terrell. He just wants things to lull a little bit so he can get the lap. Then he will be the uh, eighth rider to do so. But Avia is absolutely motoring and he's causing Terrell all sorts of problems. The Colombian fans are going nuts in this velodrome. They sense a possible gold medal tonight in this points race. And Avia is racing away. Look how strong he is. He's absolutely flying out of uh, the side of the cameras right now. And he's almost taking a lap at will. He's right on the other side of the track. You can see the peloton in front of him. 88 laps to go. Scully leads. Terrell is second with 33 for Spain. Javier has 27. But if he makes this junction, then uh, Terrell and Scully will be behind him. And he will have 47 points. Look at the speed now of the Colombian. Being urged on by a partisan home crowd. And he's not far away now. He can see the peloton in front of him, who are trying to accelerate. And he is looking really, really strong tonight. Avia is going to get there. He's fighting, fighting, fighting. And he senses the possibility of taking a world title for Colombia. And then uh, his teammate will no longer be the most famous man in Colombia. Any second now, it's going to be two laps for the Colombian. And he does, he makes it, and he gets a standing ovation in this velodrome. 75 laps to go. Scully goes to the front, followed by Viviani in the blue and white of Italy. The rider from Hong Kong, China, into uh, third place. A little bit of a calming down now of the pace. And Terrell goes on the attack at the front. He is the rider who is in third place. If he can get a lap, he would be the leader of this points race. Being tracked now by the Austrian rider. Andreas Graf senses a little bit of danger as Viviani tracks his way also into the move. He goes to the bottom of the track, the Italian, and nonchalantly rides off the front, but uh, swings up again, says uh, no can do. Goes back onto the wheel of uh, Graf. Crash at the back of the peloton, and a few riders have hit the deck on the other side of the track, out of sight of the cameras. And in there is Owen Duell of Great Britain as we wait for the uh, sprint. Uh, looks like a South African rider has also hit the deck. And heading up to the sprint now is Graf, followed by uh, Viviani, he's also up there in third place. Reinhardt in second, and Lutzeschen also in there. A few riders hit the deck then. Uh, one of them was Owen Gould of Great Britain. He's now up and running again. Also on the deck is uh, Kenny Di Catelli, the Belgian rider, who was in 10th place. Chung King Lok took it, Savicki in second, Shell in third, Cadillac in fourth place. And he's getting close now to taking the lap, but amazingly, the Colombian rider has gone on the attack again. 
and he's trying to take another lap. 47 points he has. Scully immediately reacts to it, whilst on the other side of the track it is Chung King Lok with five points that time. He moves himself up into 11th place overall. If he takes the uh, points, he will go up into uh, fifth place overall in this race. The standings after 11 sprints. Edwin Avia leads, 47 points, ahead of Teruel in 36 and Scully with 34. Meanwhile, the Irishman Martin Irvine, who uh, likes to go on the attack and take a lap at some point, is managing to do it. But the crowd are being urged on by the announcer in the velodrome. Doesn't normally happen in World Championships, but I think we'll let it go. 35 laps to go, and uh, they sense the possibility of a world title going to Colombia. Meanwhile, Teruel has gone on the attack for Spain and is looking now to try and take a lap as well and score some points to put him in to the, the silver medal position. And Scully now has got to react, which he does. And an immediate reaction from the Colombian, who is absolutely flying tonight. So he's going to try and go across the Colombian rider He's got a style a little bit like Mark Cavendish on a bike. And suddenly the race is changing. And this crowd are going mad with 17 laps of racing to go. Terrell leads with 58 points. It's a big change at the top. The Spaniard Terrell, 58 points. Avia with 47. Kung Ching Lok with uh, 41. Scully also now down in fourth with 38. But Scully... Avia, Glenn O'Shea and the Austrian rider who is in this group are about to do it too. Andreas Graf, they're about to take another lap. So they race across and it's going to be Scully and Avia who race across to take the lap as well and suddenly it all changes again. Listen to the crowd in here. It's absolutely incredible. Now Scully's looking to just try and use some sort of tactics to get rid of Avia. He goes to the front. He's got to shut the gap. One lap of racing to go here in Cali. Is the world title going to go to Avia? Is it going to go to Tom Scully? Scully sprinting around now. Avia going around the outside. Scully's looking at this one. They go shoulder to shoulder. They're bumping and barging. Scully goes racing around. It is a world title for Colombia. Listen to this. Oh, what a win! They are absolutely going wild in Cali as Edwin Avia brings home the points race world championship. Listen to this! The flag is out and the salsa dancing is starting in the crowd. What a world championship they have had.